All right, this is QNAP's budget, four bay, 453BE NAS drive. Power cable and accessory box. And here you get the power supply and it's an external one, which means the box is gonna be cooler to run. Extra screws and two ethernet cables. Oh, this little cute baby. This is a nice, cheap, budget NAS drive. It has four bays for hard drive installations. And the great thing about it is that it has a PCIe slot. So in this build, we're gonna be setting up with a RAID system with Ironwolf Pro drives, as well as expanding the PCIe with this 10 gigabit ethernet adapter to see how fast we can make this little mini beast go. You get this gigantic big fan for maximum cooling and quietness operation, two HDMIs, four USB-A, two ethernet adapters, bunch of microphone sockets, as well as a speaker output, as well as a PCIe expansion port. And the power supply lives externally to keep this NAS drive as cool as possible. All right, so on the side, Make sure it's on the unlock position and then this one slides right out. These are the hard drive trays. Push down and pull and they come right out. Get these tabs on the side, these pop out. And once they're popped out, you're ready to install a hard drive. So I've got right here an iWolf drive all the way from Seagate. So you place the hard drive down with the connector on the opposite side of the front and then you put the tabs back in. easy as to install a hard drive. All right, so this is our 10 GBE expansion card and we're gonna put it in this little slot over here. So first, let's unscrew the screws on the case. Take this lid off, and then round the back, you push down and pull. And it comes off to the right like that. And that's it right there, that's the slot for the PCIe. So first, let's unscrew this current one. Then we need to make sure we have the correct bracket on our PCIe adapter. So it looks like this is the one we need to install. Align the holes and re-screw it back in. Now this heatsink also comes off to install an M.2 SSD. So that exposes our M.2 SATA ports and you can put in your SSDs there. So now all I'm gonna do is slot this PCI board into that PCI slot just there. And then screw it in. The case just slots right back in, then you push it forward to lock it into place. And you finish the job by screwing the screws back into the case. And there you go, job complete. You got your 10 GBE adapter plugged in. Software setup is just the same as all other QNAP devices. So check out my in-depth and quick setup guides. Hope you guys enjoyed the show.